Yes, what is happening YouTube? I'm back with another attempt at this YouTube thing. Now, I'm not too sure whether this is gonna be the first video of me coming back or the second, because I have actually filmed another video as well of me walking around the unit and showing the cars that are here or were here when I did the video. But anyway, listen, we're not here for that. We're here for something else. This is something that I've been planning for ages or I say planning, it's something that I've been wanting to do for ages, but haven't planned it. So, I am known for my love of Mark IV Golfs. In particular, the R32, the Mark IV Golf R32 3.2 V6. Now, I get a lot of questions about turbo in them. I mean, it's a lot of people's dream to own an R32. Once they get it, they realize that they're slow, they sound amazing, but trying to keep up with today's technology, they're just, they're nowhere near. They're nowhere near. So I get a lot of questions saying, you know, what, is, what cost is involved with turbo in these cars? Um, can you tell me what turbo kit I need? What manifold? You know, and if I'm being completely honest, I haven't got a clue. So you can stop asking me. <laughs> now, the mistake that people have made with me is thinking that I've built loads of these cars myself. Now, in actual fact, I have actually purchased a lot of these cars already built. Um, don't get me wrong, I've done the odd thing, you know, air ride, wheels, maybe fitted some seats. And yes, I have changed engines and I've put turbo engines into R32s, but I have never personally built one myself. Now, it's worth mentioning straight away at the beginning of this video, I am not a mechanic by any means, um, <laughs> like everything I know, I've kind of just learned over the years, uh, a lot of YouTube videos and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I've just pretty much winged it. Uh, I've broke a lot of stuff in the process and yeah, just learned from my mistakes basically. So anyway, getting back to the today's video because obviously the description is gonna give it away already. Uh, but I'll talk about why I got to the conclusion of real rebuilding an R32 instead of going to buy one. So, my idea for this channel or for this particular video was to go out, buy an R32 and turbo it. And I was gonna document me turboing an R32. I was gonna show you the kit that I use or was gonna use. I was gonna show you the cost that I've involved and I was gonna break it down uh, bit by bit and we were gonna to learn together because like I said, I have built R32s but I've never built an R32 turbo from scratch if that makes sense. So, you know, I think the most I've done is I've bought an R32 and then I've bought another R32 that's turbo and I've swapped engines around and you know, stuff like that. And um, you know, I haven't really got any experience in building it from scratch. So I wanted to do that and I wanted to document it. And it's something that I've wanted to do for ages. Um, so anyway, I'm waffling on. So I took to the internet, took to eBay in particular, Facebook, I put some posts out there saying, has anyone got an R32, a cheap R32 um, that I could buy? And the plan was to turbo it, um, tidy it up and then raffle it. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, I was gonna give it to one of you guys if you're in the UK watching this um, for a couple of quid, because if you don't know, I run a giveaway site called Level Up Giveaways where I give away cars, cash, uh, Playstations, and just things like that. So, you know, if you're in the UK, go and look that up, www.levelupgiveaways.co.uk. Um, and yeah, so that's what I wanted to do. So anyway, I've been buying, since you go there, I've been buying and breaking R32s for many, many years. Um, I haven't just got to where you see me here today um, out of nowhere, I started on my driveway. <laughs> Hugo, leave that please. Literally started out on a driveway, uh, dismantling cars, and what I was doing is I was nicking the pieces off the cars for my own car because I couldn't afford the pieces, so I would pretty much get them from, for free by buying a car that had the part on it stripping it, keeping the part, say like a R32 front bumper, 500 quid. Uh, once I'd stripped the car down, uh, sold all the parts, 
maybe I got that bumper for free, or maybe I got it for 50 quid in the end, you know, or just labor time, something like that. And I was doing that after work, and then I built up a bit of a name for it, and then years went on, and I started a business called VAG Recycle, got a unit in the end, not this one, a different one, I've literally pretty much just got this unit. Um, and yeah, anyway, fast forward many, many years, I'm here now, and I don't do the braking anymore, really. Um, I just have my own little projects that I mess about with and yeah, give away cars and stuff like that as I mentioned. So anyway, because I've been doing it for so long, um, I'm used to not paying that much for R32s or not as much as they are today. So, you know, back then I'd have picked up an R32 for like five grand and that would have been an all right R32. We're talking three door blue, needed some work on the high mileage side. And yeah, that was just the growing rate. You know, people messaging me, what can you give me for my affair two, four, five, six, maybe grand. Um, and yeah, that's what I was used to paying. So anyway, 2022 now, we've had COVID. The, the prices of the R32 have shot up. And there is a few cheap-ish ones out there, but I was just not <laughs> willing to pay on average 10 grand, even seven, eight to 10 grand for an R32 that needed work. Um, you know, a lot of these cars, well, all of them are old now, and a lot of them do need some work, whether it be new bushes, suspension, exhaust, chains doing, which is a big cost because that's something that I can't do myself. Um, so, you know, things like that. So anyway, I got to thinking, what could I do? Now, like I said, <laughs> I didn't want to pay seven, eight grand for an R32. Um, to which then I was gonna spend the next 10 to 15 to maybe even 20 grand turbo in it. And you know, by the end of it being 30, 35 grand into it. So um, I got thinking and I've come up with a little bit of an idea. Now I'm recording this at 20 to 11 p.m. at night. It's windy, which you can probably hear banging around out there. Um, and it's dark and I can't really do the next part of the video <laughs> so it's kind of, for, for you guys, this isn't pointless because I'm just going to like switch to the next scene where you'll be able to see what I'm going to be doing. But for me, I'm going to have to wait now until the next day and uh, it all makes sense. But anyway, I have basically got a scrap R32 shell. Um, the plan is to rebuild it from top to bottom. Now, I don't know whether it's worth me saying too much because I don't know if I'm just gonna switch to the next part and it's just gonna be the shell here. I don't know, I haven't really thought this through. I just wanted to pick up the camera and make a start because I keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And I was here with a bit of energy today and I thought, you know what, let me pick the camera up. It's sat here. I've uh, managed to set my mic up and find it. And you know, let's just get into it. So anyway, the next scene is gonna be of the R32. And then I'm gonna talk more about what I'm gonna do with this R32 and how you guys can help me. And yeah, cause I'm gonna need your guys help on this one massively. So yeah, let's just switch to the next scene. <laughs> And here it is. This is the R32 project. Let me show you around it. Right, so here is <laughs> the R32 project. Um, yeah, so where do I even start? I'll tell you what, I'll start with how this ended up with me. So this previously was actually an R32 turbo. Probably one of the first R32 turbos in the UK many, many years ago. Um, unfortunately, it did end up in, unfortunately, it did end up in a um, accident, as you can see here. Not too bad, 
but enough uh, to write it off back then. And basically, this has been sat on someone's driveway for years. It was a complete car. I was offered it uh, a while back, quite a while back actually. One so let me just take this squeaky toy off my dog because he's going to interrupt the video the whole way. Right, so let me try that again. So yeah, I was offered this car complete a while back, um, still turboed, damaged, hadn't been run for a long time, um, and yeah, previously a write-off. Now, I didn't need it, but it was quite cheap, and I thought, you know what, I might be able to make some money here or use some parts, and long story short, I sold the engine, sold the bumpers, the body kit, everything R32 related, and this has been sat in one of my units since. And then I came to this unit that I'm in currently, and it's been sat outside since I've been here. So it's been sat outside for a few months, but prior to that, before it was in my possession, it had been sat outside anyway. As you can see, um, everything is quite rusty and rotten and whatever yeah and I've pretty much just used it as a parts car so I've just been chucking bits and bobs in there uh, with the intentions of taking off anything worth taking off and then scrapping it but for me it's always good to have a shell lying around just in case I need I don't know a rear quarter or you know I don't know it's just good to have an R32 shell lying around for me so this <laughs> Is the current state of it obviously I did use it as well to mock up um, for one of my big turbos hence it's got a hole in the bonnet because it was a sidewinder turbo maybe I'll insert a picture um, to show you what I mean so it was a mock-up shell and then when it come back the idea was to get rid but like I said um, yeah it's just been set outside really and I've just not had time since moving units and the business, uh, the giveaway business has been really busy and yeah, I haven't just, I haven't got around to it. I did pull it up for sale actually for about 500 quid. So um, some people did want it, but I just, you know, it's time wasters. But anyway, let's get to the reason why this is now inside my unit and my plans. So, so behind me is a whiteboard and the idea is to rebuild this car and document it on YouTube. I'm gonna put in all the prices on the whiteboard to let you guys know how much it cost um, from the current state to the end result. Now, this is where, I think I previously mentioned in the last clip, this is where you guys come in. Right, so, my intentions are to rebuild this car and then turbo it and then give it away. Now, that's not gonna be cheap. Just a couple of things off the top of my head. The bumper, front bumper, six, 700 quid. The rear bumper, 400 quid. Side skirts, 200 quid. Wheels, brakes, engine. You know, we're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. Now, I am not rich by any means. Despite all these cars that you see here, I haven't got money to waste. <clears throat> um, I'm not a big YouTuber. And my business is doing okay enough to pay the rent bills and so on um, so like I said this is where you guys come in two things you can do to help with this build first thing will be to subscribe because from what I gather the more subscribers you get the more views you get and stuff like that you could potentially start getting paid for YouTube now I'm not expecting that anytime soon if at all and that is not why I'm here I'm not here to try and make money out of YouTube for my personal gain at all so I'll get that out of the way straight away before anyone starts to say anything can think that's why I'm here that is not um, and you know even if that was what I wanted to do I'm going to be a long way off that anyway so that's out of the way so like I said the first thing you could do is subscribe and if you're outside of the UK and Ireland that's pretty much all you can do to help to be honest the second thing you can do now this is where a bit of controversy might come in I'm gonna put this car as it is on my website 
Like I said, the aim of this video and this journey is to build this car. Once it's done, I'm gonna give it away for a couple of quid, okay? Now, my thinking behind putting the car up already is the money that could be coming in from tickets selling before the car's done will be used on the car, okay? So, I'm gonna build the car, I'm gonna document it, and use the money from the ticket sales to buy parts. So we're gonna get new suspension, we're gonna get new wheels, we're gonna refurb or get new brakes, new roll bars, we're gonna get the, an engine to start with, then we're gonna build the engine. As you can imagine, it's gonna cost a lot of money. Now, I have got a lot of followers on Instagram and stuff like that. So I'm hoping, you know, some will understand what I'm doing. I know many won't. Social media is a strange place. It can be amazing at times, but it can also be an absolute pain in the backside. But I have faith in you guys and myself, confidence to do this <laughs> to start with and finish it. And by putting it up on the site, I have to finish it. I have to finish it. Now, I have got a bit of a reputation for buying cars, starting to build them and not finish them. We're stripping them, selling them, mainly stripping them. Um, and this will give me the push to actually finish this car instead of just thinking, getting 20 grand into it and thinking, ah, forget it, can't be bothered. Because it's not, my, it's not only my money that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using your guys' money um, to build this and then one of you guys are gonna win it. How does that sound? Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Um, I think it's a good idea. Um, and I'm not going to only use the money from the website because this might not work. You know, you guys might think this guy's mental. Why am I going to put money into a car that is not even a car? It's a quarter of a car currently. Um, but hopefully you can... You can picture and think of where I'm coming from and like I said it's not like it's not a go fund me you're not just giving me money and I'm living this lavish lifestyle I'm going to document every single penny on the whiteboard and I'm going to explain where the money's going and like I said at the end of it when it's done one of you guys are going to win it like I said you do have to be from the UK and Ireland so if you're from the UK and Ireland you can subscribe and you can purchase a ticket if you're outside of the UK all you can do is hit subscribe and follow the build and enjoy the process um, but I think this is a good idea man I think this is a good idea and I hope you guys do too because I'm looking forward to I'm absolutely gassed I've got some sick ideas already I just need to find the right people to help me because what I want to do let me just talk about what I want to do a little bit I'm going to strip the whole underside I'm going to get it all powder coated new bearings new bushes roll bars um, the rear quarter is going to get fixed obviously whether that means I'm speaking to a body shop already actually and they're talking about potentially cut the rear quarter out, put a new one in, or pull it out as much as they can and fill it. But from what I can see already underneath, it does need some new sills, so maybe cutting it out and fitting new sills in the rear quarter might be the best uh, thing for this. And that again, that's something I'm gonna document. So cut, rear quarter sorted, already underneath powder coated, new bushes, um, new suspension, a custom exhaust. I think for the first part, what I'm gonna do is just get it running. So I'm going to put an NA engine in there. I haven't got one currently. I'm going to go and find uh, an R32 engine, put an R32 engine in so it starts and moves. Um, and then, yeah, just, just go with the flow. So I am going to be winging it a little bit and it's not going to be some two week transformation. It's going to take a couple of months. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the competition up uh, like I say, to start drawing some money and so I can get some stuff done. And obviously the sooner the tickets sell, or well, the more tickets that sell, the more I'll be able to do with the car and get stuff done. Like I said, I am going to initially use some of my own money uh, where I can. If you, know, if you go and support Level Up Giveaways and buy some tickets on that to win some other prizes, cash, cars, um, stuff like that, then I'll be able to, from the profits, put money into this. And I have got a few bits and bobs lying around that I could probably put on. For starters, I could put some wheels on it <laughs> and get it rolling. Um, so... You know, there, there is things that I could be doing um, that I have got lying around. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the plan anyway. That is the plan. Uh, call me crazy. Call me a genius. 
uh, come what you like, but just make sure you're supporting. Um, and let's get this smashed out. I'm, I'm really, really excited because I've built loads of R32s and not even just R32s, just cars in general. And it's always been pictures and it's never been a full all out YouTube build or anything like that. So this is gonna be like my little YouTube journey. And if this is a success, I'm gonna move on to bigger and better things. And you know, the, you know, the channel will get better and you guys can grow and watch me grow and hopefully it goes really really well um but yeah like i said at the time of this video i'm literally going to drop the video and put the competition up at the same time uh, there's no point in me putting it up now because there's no you there's no there's no video out and if i just put up a scrap shell trying to sell tickets i don't think anyone's going to understand um so yeah i mean that's the plan and <laughs> It sounds crazy already, but it sounded really, really good when I, when I thought about it in my head. And now that I'm like making moves and starting, I've even just moving the car into here and even buying a whiteboard, you know, it, it, I'm looking forward to it, man. Um, I'll tell you what, let's have a little look around the car one more time and then I'm gonna end the video and yeah, see what kind of uh, feedback I get from this. So let's have another, another little walk around the car. Right, so after watching the video back and doing some editing, um, I've decided the video is too long, so I'm not gonna do another walk around the car. I'll do a little walk around it in the next video um, when stuff starts happening to it. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please go and subscribe. Go and buy a ticket to help out with the build and to potentially win the build after it's finished. And yeah, man, I hope you're gonna, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's as much as I can say. <laughs> See you in a bit. Bye-bye. <laughs>